on my block, season three. Obviously, I binge watched this show in like less than a day. I love the characters. Um, what was it about this show that made you want to sign on and play the role as Ruby? Um, I just remember getting the script and usually with scripts, like for the most part, you get it and you're reading it and you know, it's like a couple like hundred pages or whatever the case may be. And I was reading it and I was like, oh my God, like I wouldn't put it down. Usually I'll put it down and be like, okay, I'll get back to it. But this one, I just would not put it down. And I was like, this is so good, regardless of like what was going to end up being. I knew that it was going to be a good show whether it had the viewers or not, just because of what was on the page. And the writers were so good at what they did. I was like, I need to be a part of this. One of my favorite aspects of the show with Ruby is his dynamic with um, Jamal and also his dynamic with Jasmine. So, I mean, what's it like for you getting to kind of work with uh, Jessica and Brad and kind of play off each other in those scenes? Um, I'm so lucky because Jessica and Brett are just like two goofballs where it's like anything we want to do and half of the things we do do is like we take the words and we take the script and then we're like, okay, so what do you want to do here? Okay, wait, I'm gonna push you here and I'm gonna do this and like we just, and then in the moment we just do things that maybe other actors wouldn't let you do or be caught off guard and kind of ruin the scene because they're like, stop and be like, that wasn't in the script, what are you doing? And then with us, we're like, like I'll trip him or do something and we'll just keep it going and it's that dynamic that we have in real life that we throw into the show that's why people know I think that's why people like it so much it's yeah, really it's Jason real. and Jessica <laughs> um, <laughs> and then spoiler alert for everyone who hasn't watched yet but um, we have to talk about the ending of season three I have to say I was definitely yeah. happy that Ruby and Jasmine got together I was like yay but then I was sad that you know we see the friend group kind of go their separate ways so what was your reaction, I guess, when you read the script to see that was going to happen? And where do you think things will go in a hopeful, probable season four? Um, well, I remember we didn't get the episode 10 script until a little bit before filming it. So they always do that to us. So they wanted to be a surprise. And so I read it and I was like, what? The I was so... I was more shocked that like other people, I was like, okay, uh, Ruby and Jessica got together. Not the most shocking thing, but like then the whole Caesar and uh, spooky thing. I was, I was like, flawed. I was like, hold up, what show is this now? <laughs> but um, I'm really excited. I think it's so truthful to like, you know, there's people that I was super close with and then drifted apart from um, in high school or middle school. And I think that's what On My Block does so well is like it tells the truth mixed with like the comedy and the like drama of like the classic 80 movies of like, what's his name? Oh my God. I'm like blanking on his name. The director who did um, Pretty in Pink and oh. Breakfast Club. Oh, I have it on like the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. Is it something with a J? John Hughes. John oh, Hughes. Yeah, John, John yeah. So it's like, that's what the writer, she says she really inspires, is, is inspired from is like the John Hughes classics. And like, you can see that like over the top thing in our show, but then at the same time, the reality of life. And I'm I'm excited for season four. I want to know why they broke up. She never told me. Same, I was like, I trying to too. hound her in her trailer. I was like, why are we separated? What happened? She's like, you know, maybe you'll find out. Even it close to the vest. <laughs> First question, who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is, hmm, I'm gonna have to say, damn, maybe Lupita Nyong'o. Ooh, that's good, I love her. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, bad hygiene, people who don't touch things and oh my god especially people who pick their nose i i won't even say what i think about those people where's the first place you'll go once quarantine is over um los angeles <laughs> back to la <laughs> i'm gonna go check on my apartment <laughs> what is your spirit animal and why uh it's a bird Definitely, because I just, I don't think in staying in a certain place or doing a certain thing for too long. So, you know, I just get up and leave whenever I want. What kind of bird, you know? 
it has to be like a bird that's maybe like an eagle, something that's a predator, not a mm. prey. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, what do you look for in a potential partner? Um, someone who makes me feel secure in my insecurities, you know? Someone who, who takes those things that I, I don't like the most about myself and lets me know that it's okay to be that.